Welcome back to Law and Order Birds in Paris. This is the second time I'm recording from this day because something went horribly, horribly wrong the first time I tried to, and I don't know what happened exactly. So hopefully, hopefully this damn thing works now. We're going to the library. Here for a little light reading, are we? Not quite, Sparrowson. I'm following the hunting beagle's advice. Don't eat poison pork? The other piece of advice, that if we want to learn about a member of royalty, we should hit the library. Oh, that makes sense. Say, Falcon, I've been meaning to ask, since we're in a library and all, are you a classic literature fan, or do you prefer a more modern works? Mm, I like the classics. You know, Alain René Lesage, Crebillion Fille, that sort of thing. Don't try to act smart. I saw you reading that book of naughty limericks the other day. You didn't think I would notice because you put a dull looking slip cover over it, but I knew, Falcon, I knew. Would you, messieurs, mind lowering your voices? I can hear you squawking from the other side of the building. I need to point out right now that this dude's name is Nathan, and it's delightful. Just in case you missed that. Ah, oh, my apologies, Monsieur. We'll keep it down. Wait, you're a librarian, aren't you? An astute observation. Yes, Monsieur is the only quiet person in the library. I am most assuredly the librarian. Well, now that we have your attention, my friend wants to ask you something. I do? Oh, right. I do. Can you tell us about Don Quixote? I brought this book from a friend. What can you tell us about it? Don Quixote of La Mancha? It's a classic. Everybody has read it. Yeah, everybody. But for those who haven't... <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and summarize a great work of literature for two imbeciles who are too lazy to read. Nor would I expect you to, monsieur, but what can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library, if that's what you're asking. See, there's no library stamp or card. I assume it was acquired from a bookshop. A French bookshop, if the French translation and publishing information wasn't a giveaway. I see, thank you. Did you have any other questions, or can I get back to work? Falcon's kinda bad at his job. You seem like a scholarly, well-read individual. I'm sure you're up to date on geopolitical news and the like. I don't need your praise, but out whatever imbecilic question is in the back of your throat. Uh, well, we understand that the Spanish throne is currently under dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on who the contenders are? What a trivial question. Even an elementary school child can name the media heirs to every throne in Europe. Yeah, but for the sake of those children who slept through that class, can you refresh our memories? Oh, very well, pay attention, because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen Regna Isabella II of the House of Bourbon, daughter of King Ferdinand VII. Upon her death, the crown would likely fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke of Cadiz, although it is certainly possible that an immediate family member could stake a claim. However, the queen's position is currently being disputed by the Carlists, headed by the Count of Montemolon. I hope that answers your question. Did you catch all that, Sparrow said? Not a word! Monsieur, we're actually interested in a Prince Juan Carrido of Spain. I don't think I heard that name in your explanation. A prince? Juan Carrido? Is that what you said? Monsieur, I think you've been misinformed. There is no current Prince of Spain, and I'm not even sure Carrido is a real name. It is certainly no line of any Spanish monarchy. How strange. What does this mean, Falcon? Well, one thing is for sure, our client is not the Prince of Spain. Maybe he's a delusional lunatic, or perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. We don't have long before the trial, but it may be in our interest to confront Prince Juan directly and get some answers. Right. Are you two quite done chit-chatting? Yeah. Don't worry, Monsieur. I think we are done here. Thanks for your time. Humph, then I bid you good day. Bye. Ass. Occasionally, a special cinematic scenes. Yes, I want to watch one. A storm is brewing, my brother. Word of the royal assassination attempt has spread. The proletariats grow confident. The bourgeoisie are cowering. It won't be long before we have rioting. And then, a revolution.
All right, prince. That isn't a prince. <laughs> you again. Visiting hours are over. Come back later. I have no time for your quibbling, monsieur. Stand aside. You can't talk to me like that. I most certainly can. We have reason to believe that you are housing a suspect under false pretenses. That is in direct violation of statutes 204B and 488C of the French Criminal Code of Justice. Failure to comply with our request may result in you, yes you, monsieur, being held directly responsible for any consequential legal action. Alright, alright, no need to break out the legalese on me. I'll go open the cell. I like quark. Well, Falcon, how did you memorize those criminal codes? Memorize? Come on, Sparrowson. Learn how to bluff. Ah, uh, Senor Falcon, it is good to see you again. You have some good news about my case, I hope. Listen, Juan, in order to maximize our chances of a successful trial, I need to know every bit of information. I can't work with half-truths. If you tell me one thing and the prosecution's evidence tells me another, then we're both in trouble. I'm afraid I don't quite follow, senor. Do you want me to spell it out? I know that you are not the Prince of Spain. I know that your name is not Juan Carrito. Where is this coming from? I assure you, senor, that I am who I claim to be. If you want your trial to be a farce, then you don't need my help. Come, Sparrowson, we're leaving. Wait, wait, wait! Calm yourself, Monsieur Falcon. I'll reveal all. Did you just say Monsieur? What happened to your Spanish accent? Your suspicions are well placed. Juan Carrito is not my real name, and I am not a Spanish prince. That was just a persona I concocted for the purpose of getting arrested. Why do you want to get arrested? You're putting me in a difficult position, Monsieur. If I tell you the full story, I would be putting someone else in danger. How about this? I'll tell you a story. I like stories. There was a girl, a mademoiselle, who was in a great deal of debt. Everyone has a debt these days, Monsieur. Indeed, but this particular mademoiselle was indebted to a very powerful man, and that man wished to collect. The mademoiselle had no means of paying, so the man offered her a deal. Murder this man, and I will forget what you are owed. Refuse, and I will reap what I am owed from your parents. With no alternative options, the mademoiselle accepted. But another man, a gallant knight with foolish, archaic notions of chivalry, heard the mademoiselle's story. The knight knew that murder was inevitable, but he saw a way to take the fall in the mademoiselle's place. Do you understand what I am saying, monsieur? I think so? To be honest, it wasn't the subtlest of allegories. Ah, storytelling was never my strong suit. But I'm glad that you're seeing things from my perspective. Hopefully that sheds some light on the situation. If I may ask, monsieur, why did you not just go to the police with the information that you had? The police are not always an option. What is a man to do when the justice system itself is the problem? I'll let you know when I figure it out, monsieur. Fair question. Dwell on it. Perhaps we should talk about something else in the meantime. What's your real name? What's in a name? It's just an empty label, a vapid reflection of who we really are. Today I am Juan Carrito, the Prince of Spain. Tomorrow I may be Bruno Reye, a pauper living under a bridge of, Cien of the Sienne. But that doesn't change who I am or what I do. That didn't really answer my question. No, I suppose it didn't. But you're a smart bird, Monster Falcon. I suspect that you already know my real name. You are Renard. Renard. Whoops. Whoops. Volpe? Volpe? Private investigator. Very astute, and you are Monsieur Falcon, private defense attorney. But that wasn't always your name, was it, Monsieur Falcon? Just like me, you know how to adopt a new persona on a whim. You changed your name, Falcon? I didn't know that. This isn't about me. Juan, Renard, Monsieur, we're trying to uncover the truth here. Of course. So what truth is it that you are attempting to uncover, Monsieur Falcon? I don't feel like we've learned very much. Oh, Monsieur Falcon, before I forget. Could you find Mousy and ask him whether the birds have successfully flown south for the winter? Whether the birds have flown south? What is that? Some sort of code? Something like that, but rest assured, Monsieur, that this does directly pertain to the case. Well, if we have time, I'll be sure to let Mousy know. Let's make a move, Sparrison. Trial day is approaching. Right. A new day. Uh... I don't know where to find Mousy. Is he here? 
Yes, he is. Ooh, customers! Uh, hello? Is this the office of Renard Volpe? Ah! It's you two. Mousy, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is where I work. See? RM, Renard and Mousy. Monsieur Renard Volpe and I carry out all sorts of investigations together. Although, to be completely honest, it's normally Monsieur Volpe who chooses which cases to take on. Now see, we have a message for you. It's from Prince Juan himself. He wants to know if the birds have flown south for the winter, whatever that means. Oh, yes, yes, the birds have migrated successfully. In other words... No, I'm not gonna spoil it with my hunches. But if Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan told you that, then that must mean he trusts you. He must want you to take these. Go on, take them, take them. These are used train ticket stubs? It looks like two people took a railway trip to Vienna. What exactly is the point of this, Mousy? Um, Prince Juan said that they would help the trial. See the names, see the names! Gautier Signy, Nicole Signy. I recognize the surname, but I don't know who these people are. Um, neither do I really. Monsieur, I mean, Prince Juan just told me to book train tickets for these people and then make sure they caught the train. And so and so, that's what I did. Strange. I'm not sure exactly how these stubs are supposed to help with the trial, but I'll keep hold of them just in case. Let's go, Sparrison. I'm done playing courier. Good call. Yeah, that's all the time we got. So, apparently, it's trial day. Day one. I think this one's split into multiple days. Uh, because I definitely did not get to see everything yet. But that's all for now. Hopefully this one recorded correctly so I don't have to go back again. Like I may just not at that point and just like sum up what happened because I don't know if I can play through it a third time. But okay. Like, subscribe. See you all next time when we have the trial of Prince Juan, who is not actually a prince. <laughs>